Enchanting. Ethereal. Gigantic. Adventurous. Human. E. 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 G. G. A. A. H. Ega. You remember what an adjective is now, right? Yep. Exotic. Eclectic. Gallant. Artful. Hilarious. E. 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 G. G. A. A. H. Good evening, White Creek. Your mandated slumber party sleepover starts now. Maestro! White Creek to the best mandated hour of CCTV of the week. I am your host, Mike D, and joining me now, forever and always, is the beach to my boys. It's Miss Sarah. Sarah's here. Mr. D, aloha. Hawaiian hello to you too, Miss Sarah. Uh, do I sense a theme coming on tonight? Tiki slumber party? Tiki sleepover. How could it be a slumber party sleepover? Tiki, 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 tiki. Tonight's mandated slumber party sleepover movie is 1962's Iga, the name that dripped blood. Hmm, one of my all-time favorite, 1962's Iga is a little bit of a combination of some fabulous tiki drinks, Palm Springs back roads, and a healthy helping of uh, nepotism. Mm. It is true. Fairway Productions made the film Egon. Fairway was run by a one Arch Hall senior. Mm -hmm. Normally a one-man operation. For this gig and several others, he brought along his number two, a one Arch Hall... Junior who just happens to be one of my very favorite of this era, Arch Hall Jr. was a very talented recording artist and musician in his own right, um, but his father wanted to make him into the next Elvis, which is unfortunately a thing that never happened for him. Uh -huh. um, but thankfully, we have this incredible legacy of what? Five, six films? Six. Six films that they made together. I mean, and if anybody knows him and like knows how we can contact him, and if you just let him know that I would very much like to have him on the mandated slumber party sleepover sure. in an official capacity. Officially mandated. Okay, yes, get out those Splateau cards, White Creek. The White Creek Ministry of Information has rated this movie mandatory for the following reasons. Gas station buffoonery. Oh, that is something we can all relate to, mm -hmm, especially before mm -hmm. gasoline was taken mm -hmm. away from us in the Great War of 2003. Duh. Snakes. Oh. Four times. Snakes, 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 snakes. Number three. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Desert climate crooning. Ooh. I think this one's just for me. Mm -hmm. uh, tetanus from a water slide. That's a thing. 
It's a real thing. Uh, dune buggy with water balloon tires. Good mm -hmm. advice. Yeah. Bond villain barbershop with sweet ingenue. Well, it's getting really, really Bond. specific there. That just came, the cards. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, adventure novelist father gets took by giant in Coachella Valley after sketchy splat helicopter ride. Hmm. And finally, greaser Neanderthal at swinging social party gets iced by cops and gets mourned by Dobie Gillis impersonators. They made these fun to read. Yeah, the ministry made this, yeah. made these cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, on with the show. All right, we'll be right back. Mike, there's, there's, there's no commercials on the mandated slumber party sleepover. Fake commercial break! Fake commercials. Fake commercials. The Ministry of Information of the Town Nation of White Creek, California, hereby decrees EGA as essential viewing for the betterment of one's citizenship. Ega supports the mandates three. One, survive. Ega offers several survival tips for our current turbulent times. I survive in your dune buggy longer by adding water to the tires, thus reducing the chances of flipping the vehicle and encountering decapitation. B, survive mentally in the high desert with the aid of song. Always pack guitars for search and rescue missions. C. Social survival and the moral of making sure you blend in with others. B. Survive mentally in the high desert with the aid of song. Always pack guitars for search and rescue missions. C. Social survival and the moral of making sure you blend in with others. 2. Kindness. Ego displays kindness in the following ways. I. Hating with grooming. B. Unexpected gift giving. C. The search and rescue of an elder. Protect the elders. 3. Slumber party sleepover. Follow along with tonight's recipes and splay dough to unlock the power of Ega. Avoid the pineapples in the town square. So, now on with the show. You know, I, had a, I had a dream last night, Sarah. And you were there. And Uncle Randy was there. Busted! What? It felt it felt unlike a dream. Dusty Joe from the Cherry Ridge Road backstop was there. Uh, I had just returned uh, from my mandated fire watch at 1 a.m. when I was walking down the road and I saw a pineapple laying in Times my... Square. The ministry told us all, please don't eat any random food you find on this I block. quickly ate it. Fell deep into slumber. From there, my dreams began. I was an elderly adventure novelist, your father. My friend, and while I wasn't father. totally disapproving of your boyfriend, my I boyfriend. Must say, well, the boyfriend was Tommy. <laughs> Tommy Hall. What? With you. What? Or Tommy Hall's I, okay. twin. Okay. All right. On with the show. So I realized I had to don the dream cap. On with the show. If I, I, I have destroyed this dream. the dream cap, okay? We all know the dream cap stopped working after my Mickey Rourke wild orchid experience. So in my sleepy state, I repaired the dream cap. And I recorded my Iga flavored dream. Oh my God. To share with the ministry. <laughs> and you. And you. On with the show. Now, on with the show. On with the show. On with the show.
morning, Roxy. What are you doing in town? Thought I was supposed to meet you up at the club. Well, you still are. I just bought myself a new swimming suit tonight. Oh? Yes. See? That? <laughs> well, I get off work in ten minutes. Follow me out then. Follow you? Listen, I can change clothes and beat you out there. <laughs> That's my girl. Her father's Robert I. Miller. Writes all those adventure books. You ought to see her swim. Hey! Gee, I sure am sorry, sir. I guess I was thinking about having dinner with my girl. She lives up at the club. anyone to, did you, Miss Millet? Why not? It's the truth. Honey, a uh, prehistoric monster is a rather large order to swallow. Dad, I didn't say he was a monster. He was a giant. Well, you know, a caveman. A club and all, eh? Yes. What my daughter saw, she saw. Now, let's just let it go at that. Okay. But if you see her giant again, let me know in time to take some pictures. She will. <laughs> Dad, you don't believe me either. Roxy, of course I believe you. I believe you saw something. Well, I saw a giant, a prehistoric giant. How about it, Tom? What'd you see? 
Like I told you, Mr. Miller, I wasn't there until afterwards. Tommy Nelson, I know what I saw. Sure, Roxy, but I mean giants. They were giants. The Bible says so. Yes, it does. In, in the book of Genesis, something about in those days, giants walked the earth. Well, then. Maybe we can get some flashlights and go out and take a look for ourselves. Huh? No, this thing can wait until morning. Now, you kids go and take your swim before the pool closes. In the morning now. It's a promise. Dad still doesn't believe me. Sure he does. And neither do you. I swear on my Elvis Presley LP. How big did you say he was? Oh, bigger than anybody you ever saw. I bet you were scared, huh? A little. But I had the funniest feeling he wouldn't hurt me. Yeah? In fact, I thought it was kind of cute. Oh! about this. You said yourself that you think. Isn't it possible that you dreamed this whole idea? No, Dad, I didn't. There was a dying. Now, I don't want to call this story of yours a lot of foolishness, and I haven't so far, have I? No. But if there were a giant, if anyone at all Mr. had Miller, been here... Come here! What'd you find? I don't know. It sure looks like a footprint, though. Well, let me see. There's the heel, and there's the toe. Look at the size of that. It must have been made by a Say it. A giant. What did I tell you? And that's for finding it. Well, I'll find the big boy himself for it if you feel like that. He left the road right here. Watch out for snakes. Ooh. Better go back to the car. No. He's my giant. Holy cow, he was standing right here watching us. And then he turned and took off her. Shadow Mountain. Do you suppose that's where he lives? It's possible. That would account for his never having been seen before. It's too bad we didn't bring the doom buggy. We'd go after him. What for? I to get some pictures. Maybe even to bring him back. A lot of people aren't going to believe this giant jazz. No, we're not sending about this, you understand? Why not? After the way everyone laughed at me. Your turn will come. I'm going up on Shadow Mountain with a camera. Are you going to write a book about the giant, Mr. Miller? That's the idea, Tom. I'll take you up there. My doom buggy's all ready to go. No, thanks. It is. I just gave it the works. There's no offense, son. But I'd like to take this trip in something a little bit safer. Credit cards are in the desk drawer. You make sure you leave them there. This thing's supposed to be safer than my dune buggy? All right, Kruger, let's go.
Now, don't you forget, I want you to meet me at the mouth of Deep Canyon tomorrow at 4. Yes. 
Dad will understand. It's just one of those things. Just a minute, please. Do you know where Deep Canyon is? Yeah. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I've been there lots of times. Why? Don't worry, Mr. Kruger. I'll take care of it. Yes. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. What's up? That was Mr. Kruger from the airport. The helicopter blew a gasket or something. He won't be able to pick Dad up. At Deep Canyon? Yes. No problem. We'll get the dune buggy and we'll whiz right out there. This is whizzing? Wait till we get off the highway. Hang on to your starter belt. But there's no room here. This is what the buggy was made for. coming on a bus, you know. You can't expect him to be right on the dot. I know, but he should have made it for dark. Don't worry about it. He'll see the campfire and come walking in on us any minute now. That's what you said, two hours ago. Well, he will. Well, if you believe that, what's the idea of the bedrolls? Look, I carry all this junk in the buggy anyway, so you might as well get some use out I'm of it. I'm not sleepy. Lie down, take a rest for a while. I'll keep the fire going. Hey, what are you doing with that? I always carry a gun in the desert. There's coyotes around a camp. Put it away. We're not playing cowboy. You know, there's mountain lions around here, too. 
Well, they won't come near a fire, I know that much. And I'm not gonna have you take a shot at something that turns out to be Dad's. Okay, okay, I'll put her away in one condition, that you crawl in and get some rest. Okay. Do you suppose Dad found the giant? Or the giant found him? Nah. Giant probably is way up in the mountain. Your dad wasn't going that far. I guess not. Oh, it's my transistor. Something's wrong with it. No kidding. Yeah, sometimes a bump starts it off and you gotta hit it again to stop it. Oh. 
Oh, I must have bumped it again. You must have. Hey, have you been at this? We're saving for Dad. What? The stew. I didn't touch it. Well, I sure didn't. And look at... Well, it's that time again, everybody. What time is it, Sarah? Oh, I think you know. <laughs> Teenage monsters in haunted homes, a ghost on the stair, a vampire's fight. <laughs> beware, <laughs> there's a full moon tonight. Miss C. Yes, Mr. D? What's on the menu tonight? <laughs> well, I am so glad you asked. Mm. Tonight's delicacy comes to us care of Miss Susie's garden and Uncle Louie's garage. Mm, the best mm. garage food. The best garage food. It's a little delicacy that we call Egos Energetically Clubbed Hummus Special. Spiders creep and crawl. Boys and ghouls having a ball. <laughs> Frankenstein, Dracula, and even the mummy are sure to end up in somebody's tummy. Step one find the biggest carrot you can find. That's a dipping carrot. That's a hitting carrot. Two. Uncan one can of garbanzo. Tommy! Put them on a tray or in a bowl. Three. Beat the ever loving splatting splat and crud splat blah 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 out of them with the carrot. Four. Once those suckers are nice and mushy, bottle them up. Add a stick of celery and ta da! Tasty Island Treat. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Well, Mr. D, that sure was something. Thank you, Miss C. You are so welcome. On with the show? On with the show. What'd you do that for? Listen, if he comes back for that club, we don't want to be anywhere around here. Sure it is. Well, I borrowed it enough. Look at the way it's smashed. Well, he could have dropped it. Well, then why didn't he pick it up? Well, it's broken. It's no good to him. Oh, well, it's also insured. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, let's not jump to conclusions either. Come on, let's try that next ravine. I'll climb up their ways and see if the buggy can get through. No, you better stay here. No. There's no use in both of us going. We gotta come back for the buggy anyway. Well, then we'll come back. I'm not going to sit here doing nothing. Oh, women. 
Look, you stay here with the buggy. Nope. And drive it up to meet me when I give you the signal. That'll save us both a trip. Come on. Well, okay. Ah, uh, the gun. Toss it. Give me a blast in that horn if you see anything. Don't worry about that. Roxy. Roxy? Roxy! Dad. Oh, Dad! Oh. Oh, are you hurt? I think my collarbone's broken. Here, let me help you. How did you get here? Well, we came looking for you, and, and we're both so worried that we didn't know what to do. No, no. No. No, no. No, no. She's mine. She's mine. He understands you. Oh, uh, we got a beautiful friendship going. Take it easy. Smile. Smile. 
bite your perfume. Smell all you want. Go ahead. What became of the others? What others? Keep smiling. You didn't come out here alone, did you? No. Tom's with me. I mean, he's out there someplace. Hold still. He's just curious. Hold still. It's Old real, Mr. see? Looking. What's he doing? Looking for lice, I believe. Oh, Careful, honey. Take it easy. He won't hurt you. He hurt you? No. I did that myself when I fell on the camera. Dad, I think you better break this up before I scream. Tell him you're hungry. I'm not. Well, think of the alternative. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. 
can't eat any more of this. Fake it. That's what I've been doing. Now I'm getting sick. Ega. Is that his name? It might be. That's the word he says most of the time. Ega. Oh, Dad, no. That's all I need now is a good drink of milk. Ooh, I don't see how anybody can drink that horrible stuff. I guess it can't hurt me. Make it last as long as you can. It won't hurt you if you're doing something. A prehistoric gentleman, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's to you. <laughs> this water doesn't make you strong. You have to be strong to drink in the first place. No, no, I, I'm still thirsty. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? Believe it or not, Dad, I'm going to look at his etching. Oh, this is nice. No, no, no. This, this. It's not so bad, as a matter of fact. A little bitter. But it seems to have a certain quality that's good for you. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the sulfur in these walls isn't what's kept these giants alive all these years. You mean these giants have always been here? Where have you seen those before? In that cave in the front. Exactly. Sure. Same style, same everything. Definitely prehistoric. Yes, I'd say that he and his tribe have always been here. Are there others? No, he's the last one. How can you be sure? I took a good look at his family. From the condition of the shrouds, I'd say that the last one died 50, 100 years ago. How old does that make him? Oh, I wouldn't even really guess.
Roxy. 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 <gasps> oh, it's you, Dad. Go see if the rock's in place. He's gone. Now's our chance. It's there. What are we going oh. to do? What can Please. I do? Help me back. I gotta sit down. No, no. Don't touch it. It's got to be tied up or something, doesn't it? There's some aspirin in my beer bag. I don't see it. He brought it here. Must be around someplace. Keep looking. You probably hid it somewhere. Oh, here it is. The aspirin's in that small pocket. <coughs> Give me a two. Drink a lot of water. It'll give you strength. It won't knit bones, honey. It's got to be tied up with something, doesn't it? No, it feels pretty good now. Liar. That's no way to talk to your father. The trouble with you is I spoiled you. You sure did. <laughs> what can I do? Nothing. I'll just sit here. How about if I washed your face? Or gave you a shave? It'll make you feel better. You've got all your junk here. Okay. For everybody's favorite apocalyptic caveman. That's right. Welcome to another Peace with Maurice. Hey, all you out there in TV land. It's Maurice, your favorite neighborhood caveman. Here with a public service announcement from the White Creek Department of Information. I'm here to warn you, kiddies against the most dangerous hallucinogen out there. Pineapples. Tropical gold, as the kiddies call it. This is dangerous stuff. Radioactive. But I'll show you how to get in there. Yeah. And we just cut down nice and straight, cut the top off, and then we cut the bottom off. Yes, like this, then right down the middle. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. And we gotta get that radioactive core out. There it is. Mm hmm. Oh, so good. You can even smell the radioactiveness in there. Yes, that's right. And we go like this, this, this. Yes. Now you gotta watch out for the bits inside. But. This should be okay to eat now. Mm. Mm -hmm. What was that? Did you hear that? The pineapples, they're gone. Look, no pineapples. Where did they go? Ah! They're multiplying. They're everywhere. It's a pineapple attack. Yeah, yeah. I'll save you people. Come on. Yeah. Yeah.
Don't mind me. Until next week, White Creekers, remember, the difference between thriving and surviving is just a state of mind. I'll get his attention. You run and out. leave you. Do as I tell Not you. Not this time, Dad. You were lucky last night. He's had time to think about you. I'm not going to leave you to get your head bashed in. My father didn't raise me that way. him with that shaving bone.
You did a better job of shaving him, Roxy. Say. There's no way of telling how old that fellow Look. is.
him. The dune buggy, just down the canyon. I can do it. Go on. He's okay. He's waiting for us.
everybody okay? Honey? Just fine, Dad. Wow, wait, there he is. So long, high pockets. <laughs> Sure wasn't exciting. My favorite. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that's a festive looking drink you have there. Isn't it though? Could this be our Makati? Sit round the fire with this cup of brew, a fiend and a werewolf on each side of you. This cannibal orgy is strange to behold. A lot of juice comes out of that little paper pineapple. And the maddest story ever told. Tonight's macabre tale is a little riff on an old classic. We call this beauty Tommy's Tonsil Tickler. Mmm, <laughs> it sure is good. Talk us through its making. Of Course. Step one, find your fanciest glass mug, or in our case, plastic coconut. Step 
step two, fill that sucker with ice. No ice? No problem. Take a handful of pre-chilled stones and put those babies in your vessel. Step three, fill the vessel one third of the way up with your favorite orange flavored beverage. Step four, grab your favorite tropical punch flavored beverage and fill that baby up another one third. Step five, add whatever sparkling clear soda you have on hand and top that baby off. Step six, and now for the most important part, add some tropical flair because nothing says tiki like a paper umbrella you found in your junk drawer. Delicious. As always, WCs, remember that sharing is caring. Um, sometimes it takes a community to put a drink together. And as always, all of the recipe notes will be right down there in the bottom. So yeah, on with the show. Keep drinking, White Creek. On with the show. Drunk. Give me the keys to the car. No, baby, I just had one. That's all, just one, baby, that's all. I just had one. One bottle. Hey, baby. You've had enough. Well, I'll tell you when I've had enough. You do me a great injustice. Roxy! I'm ready, Dad. Well, I'm not. 
You're going to have to help me. I can't manage the tie. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> Does it have to be this one? Young lady, that happens to be one of my favorite ties. But the color. You gave it to me four years ago. <gasps> Why, it's lovely. Are you sure you're feeling well enough to go out tonight? Honey, we've got to go out. Well, it's not anything special. It's just a party. Mm, your whole gang will be there. Yeah. You can't avoid them forever. No. Some of them laugh a little. Well, if I know Agnes Henderson, she'll laugh a lot. What'll happen to him? I don't know, but I'm certain we're doing the right thing. If we were to reveal that a giant actually exists, there'd be a whole army out there tracking him down like an animal. No, they wouldn't. We wouldn't let them. Honey, he's from another age, another eon. Come in. Hello, Mr. Miller. Hello, Tom. Wow, D. Wow, wow. You sure look swell, Roxy. Thank you. I'll only be a minute. Is something wrong, Mr. Miller? We're just talking about our little adventure. Oh, I see. You do? Well, sure. A girl like Roxy don't get over a thing like that right away. Doesn't. That's what I say. She's got to get her mind off it. And this hop tonight will help. Hop? Yeah, my combo's going to be there. And they swing. So I understand. I'm ready. Well, let's split then. Uh, Mr. Miller, I got my dad's wheels tonight. Really? Do they fit on your car? <laughs> You're funny, Mr. Miller. Real funny. Grrr.
Christman? Yeah. Oh, come on. You can talk plainer than that. Come out, Mr. Christman. He's for real. What did he say? He's real. Of course. He's real. Yeah. 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 Jerry, quick, call the police. There's a time of giants here. sing by the hour. And you have. I just wanted some fresh air, that's all. Is it, honey? No. Dad, I've got the funniest feeling. What is it? I can't describe it, but I just know something's happened to him. Him? Ega. The giant. Or whatever he is. Something's happened to him. Roxy, look at me. I love you very much. You're more like your mother every day. Every living thing was her personal concern, and she worried about them. That's just it, Dad. But you see, worry isn't the feeling that I have. I don't know what it is. He's a creature. Well, you just have to look at him to see that. He even tried to kill us. But just... But... You can't get him out of your mind. Somebody else. Maybe him, huh? Hey! Where you been? I was belting out a tune just for you in there. I look up and you're gone. We could hear every word, Tom. I said hear, not understand. You're funny, Mr. Miller. Really funny. Come on, Rocky, let's dance. Wait a minute. What's the matter? I thought I heard sirens. Oh, that's Dino's sax. It leaks. Thank you. 
says so in the 
book of Genesis. There were giants in the earth in those days. Chapter 4, verse 32. mandated viewers right into us um so let's split the splat and get into some communications all right my baby pineapple um, i'll right. go first Sit. <clears throat> to the communications directors please direct some communication in the direction of my splatting neighbor name bleeped Boop. every wait mike d um mm -hmm. did you vet this week's smell that's our week. Splat and splat. And neighbor could go splat himself. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, Abraham Lincoln writes. Oh, Connect four score and give me a hat. Oh my God. I want to dance. Commence the boogie. Um. That is exactly what it says. All right. Um. Mike D's baby pineapple. My beautiful writes, baby boy. Father of mine. Tell me, where have you been? You know, I just closed my eyes and my world disappeared. I miss you too, my baby boy. I miss you too. All right. So, um, just a little message from the ministry. Um, just wanted to remind you to please uh, do not pick up or consume any random tropical fruit that you find lying on the sidewalk. Um, so until next week, Splatters!